One of the top leaders at Virginia's higher education agency resigned over the handling of the investigation into reports of racism at VMI. Former Board of Visitors Chair Tom Slater made that announcement yesterday. 10 News reporter Andy Schroeder working for you to show you how this could impact that probe on post. Virginia Military Institute is once again making national headlines after Vice Chair of the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia resigned on Tuesday. According to its website, Tom Slater, a VMI alum and former Board of Visitors Chair, also served on the committee to appoint current Superintendent Major General Cedric Wins. In a letter to Governor Ralph Northam, Slater cited the reason for his resignation was a decision to not allow the findings of the ongoing investigation to be shared with Wins and other VMI leaders before it goes public. State officials first ordered the outside probe of Virginia's oldest military academy late last year. That came out after cadets expressed deep concerns about reports of cultural and structural racism. The State Council of Higher Education for Virginia, better known as CHEV, responded to 10 News' media request with a statement reading in part, We are sorry to see Mr. Slater resigned. He has been a respected council member. As far as the investigation is concerned, CHEV has offered to meet with Major General Wins to hear VMI's concerns. VMI leaders are still asking to see the documents before they go public. Uh, so we continue to focus on cooperating with the investigation as it wraps up. Um, we've requested to see the findings of the recommendation findings and recommendations prior to the report being published. VMI spokesperson Colonel Bill Wyatt says the university is committed to promoting inclusion. The final report is expected to be complete in the next few weeks. VMI is hoping that the report is objective and factual and pro provides useful recommendations for the institute to build on our diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts that we've made over the past several years. Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.